Hey, what's already? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you a fun little effect that I saw in Batman Begins, and I think we can recreate our own version. And that's that effect when the, the blue flower, that sort of powder, is inhaled. It creates this demonic effect where, you know, it makes it look like the world is trying to get you. And that's what we're going to be trying to create today. So let's get started on that. First thing, uh, this is the effect that we're gonna be creating in Premiere Pro, and this one's a lot more aggressive than this one, so we're actually, when we create it, we're gonna to tone it down a touch um, to sort of more closely match this one. But first things first, I went ahead and I imported my footage right here. I grabbed this from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service where you can get an unlimited amount of stock footage and photos and you know really anything you need for just a monthly subscription cost, a very low monthly subscription cost. Check out the link in the description for that. It's very helpful. So all I did was I looked for a person that was centered. So we have this happy person working and we're going to turn them demonic. Really quick, all I did was just drop the saturation down to make it less happy, bumped up the contrast, dropped the blacks down a touch, and then this is the footage we're gonna be working with. We're then going to go into our effects we're gonna apply two effects. The first one is lens distortion, and the second one is transform. Now, it's the transform from distort down to transform. So we're gonna have these two effects now applied. So we have three, the lumetri color, lens distortion, transform. I'm then going to take the scale here and bring this up to 125. This is gonna give us some working area around the edges. You may notice a little bit of degre degradation of the clip because of this. Um, but with the effect moving so quickly, you shouldn't notice that too much uh, with this extended scale. We're now going to go down to the lens distortion, and we're going to go to the curvature. If you see, the curvature is the one that we want. It's the one that's going to make the outside edges move more than the inside edges. And that's what this effect is really doing, is the outside moves almost exclusively to the background. They probably did a little VFX and cut some people out and made the background move. But we're trying to create this in Premiere. So we're then going to go to the curvature. We're going to set this at zero to start. We're gonna start an animation, move forward maybe three frames, bring this up to maybe 12, couple more frames, bring this down to like maybe negative 10, and this is gonna be randomization. Just think of numbers as you go. You want this to sort of swing back and forth a little bit um, with each one. So a few more, negative maybe like 18 here, or we're trying to make a, a smaller effect, so negative eight here, and then maybe like a, a six and then back to a zero. So we have a quick little effect here. It's just, see the very edges are just moving just a touch right there. And that's actually looking really, really clean and a lot more like the, the original. We're then going to do this fun thing that I like to do to randomize it. So there's no like a way to write a script to this. So copy and paste them. And then as I hit Control C to copy them, uh, Command C on a Mac, we're going then going to just move through this and Command V it in random locations like so. What this is gonna do is it's going to fill in our points, but it's gonna make them random because we're dropping them in random locations. If we were to just, for example, copy and paste them at the end, there would be sort of a pattern. But with this method, we now have a ton of little effects here and you can see them now jumping around the entire time, basically random. It doesn't look like, you. there's no discernible pattern and that's, that's what we're trying to prevent is a discernible pattern. So we've created a good looking effect here. Now then, we have a problem is that we there's no motion blur. There, there's definitely motion blur in this original clip here. If you see right there, definitely some motion blur. So let's go ahead and add that motion blur in ourselves. To do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into the transform that we added, and we're gonna click on this scale indicator. We're gonna move forward one or maybe three or so frames, go up to 110, move forward three or so frames, go down to 95, three or so, maybe 101, sort of like a bounce effect here, back to 95, back to 110, and then back to the original, which you can always just click the little default button there. We're then going to go to the shutter angle and just bring that up to max, because we're not really trying to match anything. We literally just want blur. So this is looking good, but we need to apply it everywhere. So let's go ahead and do just that. We're gonna go down, we're gonna use this sort of copy and paste method again, control C, drop it in a little randomly. And we'll go to right about the same point here. And now let's take a look at our final product here. And we have generally that effect created. Now, like I said, it's not a perfect 
effect. And depending on what you do with these curvature values and the scale value here, and you know, also the, the amount of motion blur, this effect can be changed. If you wanted it to be really sort of like a, a tiny little pulse, reduce these so you only go between, let's say, negative five and five. That would make it a very tiny little jittery pulse. With the scale here, maybe go only up to 105 and negative 95. Um, or down to 95, I think that would also make it a smaller effect. But overall, that is how you create the Batman jitter in Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you'd like to learn effects like this, crazy additions of being able to combine these and, and come up with your own effect by just looking at something, check out the link in the description below to my course, which is a course that is taught just like this. We come up with an objective. We try to recreate something and through recreating it, we learn the tools of Premiere Pro. So check out the link in the description for that. Thank you, everyone, and until next time, see ya.